All right, day one, technically it's day two, um, same video, uh, except this is gonna be a different one, so the video is not 50 minutes long. The only thing I've done so far to this is I have put some of that in there, which who knows if that's even gonna do anything. And I got about two gallons, I know it's a diesel can, but two gallons of gasoline that I'm gonna try to put in there. Uh, I have a really, really old school um, jump box. I'm going to try that. However, I'm not very optimistic because that battery is completely dead. So let me put this gas in there, hook that up and see if it does anything. If not, we may have to get the car and try that. All right, first attempt at seeing if this thing will even start or run. Doesn't sound like there's compression to me. <laughs> so going into this, we kind of figured, um, you know, these cars, there's a couple things that happen. Either they get rod knock or usually they develop a hole in the block. So after trying to start it, I digged into it a little bit. Um, you know, I had to remove some leaves and stuff to try to see if there was maybe a visible hole. Cause to me, it sounds like there's no compression. So, um, we are going to hook up a compression test to it later, but I removed the air box and both coil packs and spark plugs on this side are actually missing. So, um, we're going to hook the compression test up later and see if it's even worth me going to get two spark plugs and coil packs. Uh, I did look at the driver's side. It was fine, but this side, I don't know if they needed them for something and this was just easier to get to, or if this motor had a compression issue before it was parked and, um, you know, they just kind of slapped everything back together. I did notice there was no air filter and the box wasn't all the way seated down in. So, um, like I said, it's, it's still not the end of the world. I kind of went into this knowing that it was probably going to need a motor anyway. Um, so probably at least for today, um, I'll do one more video, but this will probably be the first video as far as trying to get it to start. Um, there will be another series. Um, I'm going to try today to get this window taped back up and maybe a trash bag and I'm not going to touch the inside, but I'm going to just pressure wash the outside, maybe get some of this gunk off and see what it looks like actually cleaned up and, um, see if it is worth putting money into. Like I do really like these cars a whole lot. I think it would make a way cooler car than that is a daily, but I'm worried about the amount of money that we're going to be putting, I'm going to be putting into this to make it to the point of where it's daily drivable. Like I said, I, I do have a set of used tires that I'm going to throw on it, but I tried to put air in this and they have the metal caps on it, but it needs rotors, brake pads, tires. Um, Safe Light's going to charge $400 for the back window. I would say the battery's at least $100. And then if they're is actually anything wrong with the motor whatever that cost to fix it and then just you know fluid change like oil change and whatever else but i'm not saying it's still not worth it um like i said the converters back in the day i don't know what they're worth now but the turbo converters on these were usually worth about 800 to 850 so scrap price is probably 300 dollars. but i don't want to do that so I'm trying to avoid scrapping this. I do think it's a really cool car. I think it would make a really cool daily and um, I think it can be fixed still. So I'm gonna try to cover up the holes so no more water and stuff gets in there and I'll put something in turbo inlet and then um, might actually pressure wash the engine bay off too. Uh, so if this motor does actually have compression and it is going into a limp mode like the previous owner said. I am concerned about inside of the cylinders. Um, I have no idea how long the, I didn't even know the coil packs were out. I have no idea how long they were out, let alone the spark plugs. 
and will kind of rust build up. Um, the motor turned over, so I don't know if maybe after a while they'll just clean themselves. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know if that's putting this motor on borrowed time if it isn't already past its time. So that's pretty much it for this one. Um, like I said, I'm going to make a video. I'll make the first video and then this will be the second one. Let us know what you guys think. And then as we kind of dive into it, I'm going to try to put the least amount of money into it until I know that it's good to go. And then I'll start doing other stuff like fix the headlight that's broke and tires, brakes, you know, that kind of stuff. So thanks again for watching and subscribing.